It gives me tremendous pleasure to introduce to you the former First Lady, the wife of our 41st President, as well as the mother of our 43rd President, a woman of incomparable compassion, humor, and down-to-earth style that makes her one of my heroes and one of my friends, Mrs. Barbara Bush. Thank you very, very much, Dr. Marano, for your very kind and generous words. I want to congratulate all the graduating class. You have such bright futures and so many exciting things ahead. I am thrilled that our son, the President, is here to speak to you today. Now, I have the pleasure of introducing to you his father, number 41, a man I admire and adore, and have been blessed to be married to for 64 years. Ladies and gentlemen, George H. W. Bush. President said, keep it short. So with no further ado, the President of the United States, George Bush. back in Aggie Land. And it's always an honor to be introduced by the President of the United States, especially when he's your dad. And how about Mom? Mom, I've been meaning to say this publicly for a long time. Thanks. Thanks for the gray hair. I congratulate the graduates of the Fighting Texas Aggie Classes of 2008, the Class of 2007, the Class of 2006. Yeah, I better stop. <laughs> Let's just say that I hope there's no one left from when I spoke uh, to the commencement in 1998. <laughs> If so, I hope you're walking out of here with a Ph.D. <laughs> I am grateful to the faculty and staff of Texas A&M for their devotion to learning and their example of scholarship. I appreciate your outstanding president, Dr. Elsa Moreno. And I am glad to be with... There you go. And I am glad to have traveled from Washington today with three fine Aggies representing Texas in the United States Congress, Congressman Chet Edwards, Joe Barton, and Jeb Heinzelin. I am pleased to see so many of your families and loved ones here today. While you bled maroon, they bled a lot of green. So please join me in thanking all those whose support made it possible for you to reach this proud day. There is one person who wishes he could be here today, and that is your former president and America's Secretary of Defense, Bob Gates.
you know, he's got an excused absence. It's not like he's over at the Dixie Chicken. <laughs> he's traveling to the Middle East, consulting with our generals and showing his support for the men and women of the United States Armed Forces. When I asked Bob to be the Secretary of Defense, it was clear how much he loved Texas A&M. After all, he refused to come to Washington until after he attended the winter commencement. And I was even more impressed when he insisted on standing during the cabinet meetings, <laughs> claiming he was the 12th man. <laughs> One day he explained it all. He said, Mr. President, I'm red ass. I'll say this for a and you got some mighty fine traditions. Back in my day, I think I would have enjoyed dunking my ring. I would have loved to have taken Laura to midnight yell. Especially like uh, the traditions around Reveille. Anytime she barks during a class lecture, everyone in the room is dismissed. I wish you'd have been there for some of those press conferences. <laughs> this campus is home to solemn rituals that demonstrate, demonstrate the strength of your bonds. In playing of silver taps to honored fallen classmates, in the reunion of students and alumni to read the roll call at muster, and in wearing of your timeless rings, you affirm a powerful truth. Once an Aggie, always an Aggie. <laughs> Traditions like these are central to the a and experience. And so is academic excellence. And all of you will benefit from your rigorous courses of study. I suspect you'll also find that some of your most important learning took place outside the classroom in the friendships you formed, the perspective you gained, and the things you discovered about yourself. When you leave this campus, you will be well prepared for any endeavor you choose. To those of you with jobs lined up, I, I congratulations. To those of you not exactly sure what comes next, I know how you feel. 